Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I have wax empties. This is like Goose Creek candles too, but mostly like wax melts. Um, basically all like non Bath and Body Works things. However, I do have chopped up Bath and Body Works candles, so technically they are a part of it. I'm not gonna try and set this out in any neat way possible because let's face it, this is trash. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you the candles first. And then I'll probably just toss everything in the middle as I like go through bags and stuff like that. So I went through a marshmallow sugar from Goose Creek. Uh, burned pretty close to the bottom. Sooty. Really light scent. Not something I'm going to repurchase. And then I also have a watermelon bubble gum. Which I didn't care for and it was really light. I love the scent of it, but it was really light. Um, I only burned it halfway. It sooted a lot. You can see like the darkness on the candle. So one of my candle warmer um, and it was even light there. Okay, and then I have some chopped up wax melts. Um, Oregon Autumn Seattle Rain Sun Wash Linen from L3. Uh, a nice scent. I melted a little bit in the fall. It's very much like your fresh, clean, laundry, soapy scent. So once it got a little closer to like the cooler weather of fall, I just didn't want to melt it anymore. But it's very strong, so it'll hold out till next year. Another one that's really strong that I love is this Autumn Day. I hope they eventually come back with this. This is the Bath & Body Works candle that I chopped up. Um, melted a little bit of it, enough to think it's strong and it smells amazing and I don't want to go through all of it. So um, I enjoyed a little bit of that and we'll save that for next year. Autumn is also a really nice strong scent and I melted a little bit of this. This is very strong and intense. Um, I like Autumn Day better because there's more woodiness to it, but this is more of your like fresh apple, um, like fruity fresh fall scent, or that one's more like fresh woodsy fall scent. Um, I like both. So again, this is strong and I'm going to hang on to it for another year. If they're not doing well, I'm trying to go through them. And then same thing with Vanilla Birch, which was smells amazing. It's one of my favorite candles that Bath & Body Works has. And I this is two candles chopped up in here. And I have multiple, I think three of the actual candle. And then the last thing that I melted but not all of is the Sassy Girl Aroma Radiant Red Maple Bath & Body Works dupe scent. And it's still pretty strong. It smells awesome. I think I have one more of those. So did a little bit of that. Um, but I'm going to put that back in my stash for next year. And now let's move on to bags. Okay, so from L3, I have Blackberry Rainstorm. I'm not going to tell you a whole lot about these if I don't remember. I just remember I didn't love this one. Hey, Tiger. Apricot Cafe from Vintage Chic Scents. I was originally going to give this away in like a, as a freebie in a de-stash. And then <clears throat> I just never got around to de-stashing anything. I still have some wax to de-stash, but I might just end up melting it just to get rid of it. Um... Uh, but yeah, no, I didn't like that scent. From Rainbow Melts, I have Beach, which is like a suntan lotion scent. Um, I liked it. It smelled classic, like a suntan lotion scent. Crisp and Cozy, which is kind of like your um, uh, Super Tarts Tate dupe. Oh, no, that's not right. No, I lied. This is more like, more. yeah, it's like Sweater Weather and Blackberry. Um, I do really like that scent. I would purchase that again. Two of Bullicious, which is Caramel Pecan Pie Waffle Cone. It's too heavy of a bakery scent for me, although I did like it. And because I think it was a little bit older, when was that from? 2019. It was lighter and more tolerable for me. Uh, from Super Tarts, I have Gandalf, which is a coffee scent. It's very nice, but I've just discovered I don't like coffee as much as I thought. Jackal is too heavy on the bakery for me, but I did get through it. And then I have two bags of Tate, which were the like Bam bags. And... I hated to melt this because this is probably my favorite scent that Super Tarts offers, but it's just, it was from 2017. I couldn't hang on to it anymore. It was starting to get lighter and I melted through it pretty quickly because of that. Um, I don't want to not enjoy it at all. It's just dumb of me to hoard it. I need to melt things that I like, you know, so anyway. Hopefully Super Tarts will be around when I... I'm able to purchase more of that, and if I, I see that available, I'll try and pull the trigger. 
I just don't, I'm not even really in the algorithm on Facebook to get notifications for that stuff. So I don't know what's going on in the wax groups and I'm not actively searching to purchase things. So I'm just, I'm just really out of the loop. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Sassy girl aroma. Foul play. I did write on here. Appeal is a four to five. I really liked it. Scent was a two to three. So it was a light. This is beach nights and pure harmony. It was like a fresh version of beach nights. And then here's of course, beach nights. Um, smells amazing. All of these were much lighter than they originally were. Um, toasted marshmallow, graham crackers, and salty sea air. This was actually still pretty strong. This was a scent that I created, um, a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, that, that's, I was surprised that that one smelled really good. Okay. We also have catered affair, which she named, but that was a blend that I did when we could create our own loaves. That's blackberry, strawberry, beach nights. Um, I like the original beach night, beach nights better. Huckleberry Rain, I did not care for that, I don't think. Twisted Sisters, I was originally going to give this away. It's Twisted Peppermint with Pink Chiffon and Pink Sugar, and I, I don't like that combo, but I melted through it because it's predominantly peppermint, so I was able to get through that pretty quickly. But these are all, as you can see, they're from like 2017. These are super old. That one was still very strong because it's the peppermint. And then Brown Sugar Zucchini Old Town Bake Shop, one of my favorites that Sassy Girl has as far as bakery scents go. And this was just so, like, so unscented because I let it sit for so long. It's my own fault. I'm pretty sure, was that a loaf? Oh my gosh, please tell me that that was the loaf that I've hoarded and chopped up. I don't even know. That might have already been something that, I might have more of that that I need to get through, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, and then I have quite a bit of glitterati. I have a loaf in County Fair I got through Super Light. Um, gosh, I, you know, I, I'm not going to remember a whole lot about this. Volcano fruit salad, vanilla bean Noel. These were all summer ones I did. Salty sea air pomegranate fresh pear. Strawberry mango papaya cotton candy. Um, in the pink, I wrote super light and I couldn't really smell it because the strength was only a one to two. Strawberry Volcano Fruit Salad, Super Light, Strength is a 1, Appeal is a 4. So I liked that one, but it was really light. Pretty in Pink, I wrote Appeal is a 4, Strength is a 2 to a 3. This is out of 5, so I must have really liked that scent. Pretty in Pink, I need to remember that, even though that one's kind of on a lighter side. Again, these are older, so it's my own fault. That one was from 2017, so this has nothing to do with vendors. This has to do with me hoarding. <clears throat> I just want to make that clear. Um... Love Shack. I don't, I don't love that scent. I don't know what's in it, but I, I didn't care for it. Uh, Blue Water Orchid Pina Colada. Lavender Coconut Milk. Love. Love that combo. Violet Toasted Marshmallow. Mm, mm -mm. I don't remember why I didn't like this, but there's, it smelled weird. It smelled nothing like Violet or Toasted Marshmallow. I don't know what it was. Um, zucchini Bread Ice Cream Scoop Bread Marshmallow. Caramelized pralines and wild berry crumb cake. Uh, I was just melting this yesterday, so I can tell you that this was pretty light. But again, 2017. What do you expect, Chrissy? Okay, so now I have some scent shots and clamshells. Whoa. These ones are glitterati, so we'll stick with glitterati glazed donut. Love that scent. Um, oh, this is destination wax. Huckleberry muffin. Mm. I thought I'd like it more than I did. Uh, Buttermint Vanilla Bean Noel. This was really light. That was glitterati. And then Plum Tart from uh, Destination Wax. And that was supposed to be a dupe for the Scentsy scent. One of my cats is causing trouble. I can hear him. Um, yeah. Scentsy. Oh, Sweet Plum Pastry do for that scent. So I have a, quite a few of these I'm trying to get through. So it looks like I have two empties of those. And birds from Super Tarts. Really nice scent. Uh, the clamshells are just getting old. You can see they're like deforming. Deforming? Why do I feel like I made that word up? Deforming. They're getting deformed? <laughs> I don't know why that word sounds weird to me. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh... House of Stark, and this is a coffee scent. For people who like a coffee scent, this is great. I just don't, I don't love coffee scents. Misery, I used to like this more than I did. This is pie crust and leaves. I like it, but I used to like love that scent. I think I just need to be in the mood for it. It's definitely your fall scent. It's, it's really nice though. 
um, the Red Woman, which is like a fruitcake scent. I bought way too much of that thinking it was going to smell like something else. Warm Apple Pie. I had this like to give away and I didn't like it when I first melted it, but melting it this time around, like, cause I just had extras. Um, and I'm like, you know what, let me just melt this rather than say I'm going to give it away to someone when I'm not doing any de stashes anytime soon. Like I might as well use it. I, anyway, long, yeah, long story long. I actually really, really liked that. Mrs. Cratchit's Christmas pudding from the bathing garden. No, I don't like that. Ice winter cranberry from better homes and gardens. Um, everybody I think hated this scent. I don't mind it. It just smells like cranberry to me. It's not a weird cranberry. I don't, I don't know what I am not smelling that other people do, but this was a, a, not a well-liked scent that they came out with a few years ago. Berry Christmas, everyone. I have a couple more of these. It's a nice bakery scent. That's a good scent. I think I got it on clearance too. Pie season. Mm -mm. No, didn't like this. This was a mixture of weird, weird, like, um, like very authentic. I shouldn't say that, but like mostly authentic smelling food smells like a whole bunch of pies. I don't know. I didn't like the combo. And then dried lavender and oak. I thought I would like this more than I did. It was okay, and I think I have another one of these, so hopefully I can get through that and just not not hang on to it, not have it take up space. I think it was too strong, maybe? I'm not really sure. Anyway, that's everything. Is everything I melted? No, that's not. I lied. I have <laughs> Bath & Body Works chopped up candles. Warm apple pie smells amazing, but it's very light. Pumpkin peanut brittle smells amazing. Pumpkin sugar cookie, nice but very light. And waffle cone, nice but too cinnamony ultimately for me. So that's that's everything I think I have. Yes. All the stuff I melted in the last few months. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. It's always nice to hear from you. Happy New Year, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.